Greetings and welcome to the Political Ferret Show. Greetings, this is a video about a video that IBX Toycat made. A video about the Minecraft realm where there were absolutely no rules. He called this anarchy, but this is not entirely true, because anarchy does not mean that there are no rules. There just, just means that there is no ruler. And in the end, he did it right. He just created a realm and say okay do whatever you want there and then he, he did this system run for about one week and looked what happened in the end and check out the whole video it is quite long but i wanted to make a short recap about this video because it is quite interesting so in the end there, what there was at the beginning was the founding some people joined the server and then they, they started to do minecraft so in the next step, they started to create uh, improved spawn points. So all everything, because all the people start here on the spawn point and they started to create a little community around the spawn point, which is quite interesting. And, and they did quite normal stuff. They did create some houses and did create some, some uh, letters and so on. Uh, nothing fancy there. You see, after about eight hours, the things started to become griefy. A lot of people came over because there were suddenly stuff there that weren't there before and uh, people did start to destroy things. Because in the start, there was nothing to destroy the head, so they, they could not grieve anything. But after eight hours, there was enough stuff there so that people came over and destroyed things. And yes, this whole, uh, it, it was not intended as that, but, but he simulated here uh, uncontrolled migration. A lot of people came from outside and could influence the stuff that is already there and was created by other people. So what happened in this time was that a police started to create itself and they tried to uh, force some, uh, some order to that. So pretty much do not grieve or we will kill you. And uh, it looked like it started to become a little bit more orderly. After about 24 hours, the police uh, from the start was down. So some, some guys came over with bigger swords and they, they killed the policeman and started their own little police thingy. And the spawn point was completely destroyed. So it, it looked like that. So uh, everything was destroyed. There was no spawn point whatsoever there. So the center of the civilization, the point where the density of the people was highest, there was the biggest amount of destruction. But there was also a new community, a little bit away from the spawn point. There was this little community where people say, okay, do not grieve her. And people who had already their full tier did run around and did protect this community. So it looked like this would be the new center of this whole new civilization. But 36 hours, uh, it looked pretty much like that. So the spawn point got completely obliterated in the end. And this new center that I was talking before, just 24 hours sooner, uh, was completely vacated. It was also grieved, it was destroyed, because this was the new center, this was the next point of interesting where griefers came over and destroyed. In day three, um, they started to uh, repair the spawn point. Some people came over and say, okay, we try to repair with wood, the respawn point to make this uh, server a little bit more attractive and other people came over and didn't try to destroy uh, the same thing. On day four uh, the respawn point looked like this. If you remember this burning hell from before they rebuild it to, to it, does it look more or less generic minecrafty like a normal server and uh, if, if you dig down just one block there is the whole mess below that but uh, it, it looks more or less like it would be okay-ish. There was also a new police and they uh, started to create some order and they created some rules and, and some people did agree to these rules and did live by these rules, it seemed. I mean, but in day five, the spawn point did look like that again. It was completely destroyed again. This bridge that was there from the beginning of the server and repaired over and over again was finally in, in absolute ruins. And yes, there is not a lot of lava there, but a lot of water. And yeah, the, the respawn point, the, the uh, original center of the civilization 
was again completely destroyed. Some people did go away from the centers and did look for um, places where they can live more or less in peace. But uh, when the density of the people is highest, there, there is absolute chaos and, and nothing to, <laughs> worth to live for. There are no resources anymore. There's no reason to stay here. And this trend continues on day 6. There is not a lot of new stuff in the spawn area. There is a little bit of construction in the nether going on. It, you do not see this in the video here, but he, he flies through the whole thing in the end. But uh, the, the respawn point is still pretty much destroyed. When the whole thing finally ended, um, he, he did give a, a little tour through the, through the world. And you can see that where the most people were, there, there was absolute only, only destruction. And it is true that you you'd only need one guy who wants to destroy stuff to destroy the stuff of 10 people. So about 10% who are destructive will destroy pretty much everything that all the other people build. And this is the problem. If you do not have some people in charge to keep those people, the psychopaths and idiots, under control you have a destroyed land and wherever you have a lot of people where you have a high density of people this problem becomes a real problem but what what can you do i mean the, the thing is this happened over and over again in our own history rome when there was no roman empire anymore was vacated why because it was a death trap and uh, cities become a death trap in time of crisis. This is really, really a problem in a time of crisis. Because there are a lot of people, and if there are a lot of people, there are a lot of psychopaths around who want to destroy and want to see the world burn. So this, this pretty much is what happens. I, I like this experiment. Does this mean that every uh, system without proper leadership and proper maintained um, order will collapse in this way. I would say no, not really, but there is a clear tendency and it is, it is quite sad, but there are people in the world who want to destroy and want to see the world burn and people who do not think on tomorrow and do not take joy from creating stuff but destroying stuff. And I say this experiment from IBX Toy Cat makes this quite quite good and it, uh, it it pains me to say that but it fits exactly to what, what I have seen in the world that people behave that way it is silly it is stupid people shouldn't do that but they do that uh, people create hell if there is nobody to stop them from doing that so this means that those 90% of people who would uh, be only constructive and only want to create things. They do not need that. You only need this order and yes, oppression to control this 10% of maniacs. And that's the problem. If you're on the other hand, this is the reason why most of these servers have whitelists. If you say, okay, we kick all those people, all these destructive elements out, and keep only the constructive elements within our society, then you can achieve in the end peace, equilibrium and, and a lot of wealth and so on. And this is the reason white uh, lists are borders. We need borders for exactly that reason, for no other reason. We need borders to keep these destructive elements under control, not completely out, but under control. So I want to thank IBX Toy Cat for this wonderful video. I really love this video. And I hope my, my interpretation is more or less in, in, the, in the way that he understood his, the whole thing. Definitely check out his channel and his video. And tell me what you think in the uh, comment section. Like, share and subscribe. And have a wonderful day.